Hello everyone. Now I will be explaining how to get started with uh, PyCharm. And for that, I'm, I'm working into a Linux system, which is Ubuntu. Um, so uh, even if you're working into Windows, you will be able to understand. Uh, but anyways, uh, so here, first of all, I'm going to Google and Google for PyCharm. Show up a few results here. I'll go into this one and or I can directly click into download okay and uh, yeah here it goes so um, all right so uh, if you are not going for this kind of uh, web Python or HTML JavaScript and all so uh, you can directly go into this uh, community version and uh, this to community version so go into this one download and then uh, yeah download will start and it is about 347 MP of uh, file. Okay. Whatever it is, go this one. Okay, path. Since I've already done it, I'll not do it. I'll just. Land this path to uh, the location. And after that, if I have to start uh, by charm, I'll just do by ch tab to come over here like this. So I will just uh, start by charm, all right, like this, and uh, by charm will put like this. Okay. So this application is started now. I what I will do is I'll create a new project. Okay. So it will give uh, this as default location. So this is a project location. So this is a home directory plus by charm projects and give some project name here. So I'll give uh, fashion minist. Okay, so some project name I'll give I've already done it. So I'll do something like minist test. Okay. So this is some minist test application I'm creating just to try out some project here. And then I'll create this project project will be created All right okay so this is created and if ever you have worked with IntelliJ ID it is very much familiar almost everything is similar how this side panel looks how this top row looks so uh, what are the themes and all. so everything is there and uh, certain things which are specific to the ID so here is the one Python console you will see at the bottom here. Python console, if you click, you will get into Python console directly. You can execute certain things over here. Like if I want to do something like uh, hello world. Okay, prints. If I do hello and then word. Okay, this also does. If I do something like five minus two, does it? So this this is pretty, pretty much uh, the Python console. So here yeah, you get a direct shortcut from here. So you can do something. It's created uh, means test, but this project doesn't have any file. Okay, so how to uh, create one Python file? It's very easy. Right click into this uh, project and go to new and then go to python file let it be python file here now we will name to this python file i'll give it as a uh, uh, minist this is not a very good name but just for typing and this minist.py this i did that 
.py is created. Now, uh, if you were to start working into a bigger project, most of the time you would need certain plugins, which is uh, by default not part of this IDE. Okay, so file will go into settings, and then uh, once we get into it, we'll go to uh, our project here, project means test, and then click on this and go into interpreter. So by package so how did I get into this one more time so I'll go I did go into this project then project interpreter and then from there on I selected uh, this plus icon here at the right side of this uh, the window and then we'll get into this uh, uh, package search here and look for okay, here this one this is an example I'm giving you so if you want to uh, install any other uh, plugin you can look over here. Well, this package is installed now. So you can see a package here has installed successfully. Now uh, we can close these windows and we can try here. Uh, we can try with certain example, let's say. So let's do something here uh, from Keras dot data set import nist so it works straight uh, the same from uh, coming without any so that means Keras is successfully installed so that's it